Assalamu alaikum everybody. Welcome to another episode of Shake Place with your boy Chef Shakur. How are you doing buddy? You all good? Uh, now today I thought I'd uh, do something a little bit different. Uh, so I'm making a chicken korma for you guys. Um, I thought we've been eating spicy food. Let's, let's see uh, with curries if we can try and mix it up a little bit and add, add a little bit of sweetness. Uh, so I know a lot of people don't like uh, korma and, and I know some people that do. Um, my family love it, so you know, they're the ones who are going to eat it later, so I thought I might as well um, try and uh, make a nice recipe for them today. Uh, originally, I was going to make a chicken karai, but um, I already made a lamb karai, and uh, the ingredients are the exact same. Uh, only the difference is that you put chicken instead, and the chicken cooks a lot quicker because like, you don't have to wait for the chicken to, um, uh, to be tender because it, it, it just cooks really nice and quickly so that, it, that, that's the only difference between the chicken one and the lamb one so I thought what's the point if I'm just going to be making the same recipe again uh, so I thought I'd, I'd mix up a little bit uh, we'll make a, a nice chicken korma um, if you guys do enjoy it uh, if you guys do enjoy cooking and you do enjoy making it uh, please let me know what you think um, and of course as always with my pages please do subscribe um, wherever it is <laughs> and uh, give it a like and um, push the notification button for all my latest videos that are coming out so anyway guys let's uh, let's get cracking all right guys so with our um, with our spice palette today uh, we've got green cardamom cinnamon the yuyu cardamom <laughs> um, pepper salt uh, chili powder crushed uh, ground coriander, uh, garam masala, um, crushed cumin, haldi or turmeric and that should be uh, enough. Um, that should be enough spice for us to get our korma nice and uh, the way that we want it. Uh, so let me just uh, let you know that's uh, one tablespoon one tablespoon, one tablespoon, one tablespoon, one tablespoon, um, one teaspoon, and just a little bit, and uh, yeah, just the other three. So the oil uh, is heated up, and uh, I just put our green cardamom, our normal cardamom, and our uh, cinnamon stick in there. I'm just going to uh, mix it around. So this has been frying for one minute now. And with it... Uh, so I'm going to add two of this. Finely chopped. Finely chopped. And we're gonna wait, uh, we're gonna keep stirring the onions until they turn uh, light brown. Okay, guys, so it's nice and light and brown. So, next, I'll put a mix of um, garlic paste and ginger paste. So, you got a whole garlic's worth if you're gonna use it the other way. Um, add in a whole garlic and about a tablespoon's worth of ginger. You can see everything is mixed well together and everything is nice and toasty. So next we're gonna add in our chicken and I've got uh, roughly five pounds money's worth. I'm just gonna wait until that um, cooks and everything gets confused. So we're putting the <laughs> we're putting the meat for uh, roughly about two minutes before the next process. 
Okay guys, so it's been um, fun nine for about two minutes. Um, now, what we need to do is, I've got um, yoga over here. Now, depending on where you're from, um, if you're from Pakistan, then your yoga will look like that. If you're from here and you normally get the pagida kind, uh, then by all means, just add a little bit of water and just mix it up for a little bit. Uh, so, we're just gonna grab all that. Once you put all your uh, yogurt inside there, but just literally waiting for our chicken to cook, which now you can see is perfectly done. And with it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add um, our salt, our turmeric, and our um, chili powder. Now the turmeric gives it a flavour but it also gives it colour. The ch chilli powder gives it a nice um, spicy flavour and of course uh, salt. We all know salt from all our experiences. <laughs> so I'm going to let this simmer for 5 minutes and let all the, um, let all the ingredients infuse and then I'll show you guys the next step. As you can see, um, the oil has risen and uh, we're ready to add our next ingredients so we're just going to add the rest of our spice plate onto there probably, probably might have seen a shot of my brother there but not to worry he's still having his hand out cooked So again, we're just going to let all the spices infuse. So we're just going to let this cook again for about another five minutes. Right guys, now it's time to add in our sweetness. So we're going to add in some chopped uh, almonds. If you have cashew nuts as well, you can add cashew nuts. Um, and we're going to add in some pineapple. And then we can mix that all in as well. So guys, we're going to add one cup of water when everything is fully infused together. And then draw these packs of double cream over right there. Uh, we're going to use half of that, okay? After 10 minutes of simmering, this should be our chicken goma fully made. Now, uh, I, it's up to you afterwards if you guys want to um, add in any uh, anything like coriander or uh, tomatoes or anything like that for a garnish, but um, it, the, the dish will be ready anyway in 10 minutes. So I'm going to close the lid up and we'll let that simmer. Uh, I've just lifted the lid up because uh, I just forgot any, an ingredient. Um, it's an optional ingredient uh, but it's um, gira water so it's that. So I'm just going to add one spoon of that and what that basically does is it just gives it a nice uh, fragrance and you, I can smell it already <laughs> it's a nice sweet fragrance so yeah just um, uh, add that in just stir it in and infuse it with all your palate with all your the rest of the dish so that's perfect so again we're going to let that simmer for 10 minutes so the lid's going to be closed I'll get back to you guys in 10 minutes Right guys, okay, so after 10 minutes of a good simmer, let's uh, finally open our dish up. As Thierry Henry would say, hey Bobby, what's the French for Vavavon? 
that that is perfect you can even smell it as well it smells incredible like it, it smells you, you, you can have that um, whiff of uh, the sweetness but at the same time you can smell the um, aroma of a curry as well so that guy is ready to save so I'm just gonna uh, switch off the heat and I'll uh, and that'll be uh, lunch, <laughs> lunch for today for my family there so there we have it guys there is our amazing uh, well my amazing <laughs> chicken korma uh, which I'm gonna send over to my family um, and that's gonna be our lunch today I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed today's recipe um, I've, I've just literally just had a little bit of a taste and I can tell you it's mother that we're really gonna do it so, uh, uh, from me guys assalamu alaikum and as always subscribe if you haven't done so like and uh, push the notification button and as always keep smiling and just to let you know before I go um, I've just garnished it I garnished the dish with um, cayenne but again that's optional for you guys I just thought I'd show you how it looked like when it looks pretty <laughs> okay guys so again from me assalamu alaikum